Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Life with Liz. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications. That way you'll be notified every time your girl posts a new video. Good morning, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone. It's my uh, Christmas Eve, but when you see this video, it'll be Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas to all of you and uh, all of your families. Um, much love and many blessings to all of you. So this morning I am going to make, um, I'm going to start making the stuff that I'm going to take to my brother's house. So I'm going to start off with making a dessert uh, because I am going to be making other stuff. So I want to get that, that main one out of the way. It needs to be refrigerated, but this is going to be for Gabby. It's a no bake cheesecake. So let me show you how I do that. So what you're going to need, you're going to need um, graham cracker crust, uh, a block of cream cheese, and a tub of Cool Whip and sugar. And I think I'm going to add just a teaspoon of vanilla to this. It doesn't call for it, but I'm going to add a little, just a little bit. So let me grab that. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is like the easiest, easiest recipe. Basically, you're just going to take your cream cheese. So a block of cream cheese. And a third cup of sugar. I'm going to add that teaspoon of vanilla and now I'm going to go ahead and mix this together and once it's all together and fluffy I'm going to go ahead and add my Cool Whip. So let me get that done and I'll be right back. All right now that we have this mixed I'm going to go ahead and add the tub of whipped cream. I'm just going to mix that in there. And then once I get this all mixed together, I'm going to um, put it into the pie crust. So let me finish doing that and then I'll show you. Um, I'll show you me putting it into the pie crust, covering it, and then I'll tell you how long it goes in the fridge. All right, now that that's all mixed together, I'm going to go ahead and just put it into the pie shell. Make sure to get everything out. <laughs> And then just smooth it out in there. And <clears throat> this will go in the fridge for um, at least three hours. Overnight is probably better, but overnight didn't work for me yesterday. <laughs> I was tired. Um, yeah, I was super tired. And then I ended up... Um, sleeping with Gabby because she wanted um, she wanted me with her last night her allergies were acting up so I did stay with her all right so then you can add fruit on top of this if you want you can do it once it sets but then you just um, cover this back up stick it in the fridge like I said for a minimum of three hours you can make this the night before and it will probably set even better But that's it. And Gabby can have this dessert. So let me go ahead and stick this in the fridge and I'll be back. 
All right, so I'm gonna make another um, dessert. And uh, hopefully it'll, it probably won't stay warm, but I need to get it done. So we start off with putting some, um, some heavy whipping cream on the bottom of our tray. Just making sure it's all over the bottom. And then I'm going to use some cinnamon rolls. Uh, I hate when they don't pop it. <laughs> and why does it always feel like it's going to like pop on your face when we know it's, we know it's not. Oh, but closing my eyes and everything trying to get this out. <laughs> So then we'll just start placing the cinnamon rolls down in the heavy whipping cream. And then once we have them in there how we want them, we're going to go ahead and drizzle a little more heavy cream on top. All right. All right so we have the cinnamon rolls with the heavy cream on bottom heavy cream on top so now I'm gonna melt a stick of butter all right so let, let me go ahead and get that melted I am gonna add a cup of brown sugar to this but I'm gonna go ahead and let that get melted down first all right so now that my sugar is melted I am adding the cup of brown sugar and I'm just gonna get that melted down, mixed together. And that'll take a few minutes, so just showing you a little bit of the process. Let me go ahead and get this all mixed together, melted down, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, guys. So I did forget to mention that you do need to add a little bit of heavy whipping cream once um, the butter and sugar melt together. Just a little bit of heavy whipping cream. All right, sorry about that guys, my battery died, but this is the consistency you want. It's nice and smooth already. So that's the color you want. So now I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle this over the cinnamon rolls all right so i don't want to make a mess so i am going to use my ladle to go ahead and put this over All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick them in the oven. It is set at 350, so it's gonna be for about 20 minutes. So let me go ahead and do that, I'll be back. All right, so while the cinnamon rolls are cooking, I'm going to get started on the icing. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add in the, the little frosting, packets that come with the cinnamon rolls.
All right, and I'm going to add half a stick of butter. All right. Two cups of confectioner's sugar, powdered sugar. to have enough with this bag so I don't have to open the other bag but I'm cutting it real close all right two cups all right and then I do have three tablespoons of water measured out here and then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. All right, and I'm going to get that cream together and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, guys, so this is what the icing looks like once it's done. So as soon as the uh, cinnamon rolls come out, I'll go ahead and, and ice them. All right, guys, so the cinnamon rolls just came out of the oven. This is what they're looking like. So I'm going to go ahead and get those frosted. Set up my camera here so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right. All right, so I'm just going to take my frosting put that all on top all right so that's what our cinnamon rolls are looking like so I'm going to set these aside and get started on the next thing I'm making. All right guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and make a spinach dip. So I'm gonna start off with um, a cup of mayo. So a cup of mayo. And even though this is all going to go into the same bowl, I get scared. So I'm going to wash this out uh, because I don't want to cross contaminate. So let me go ahead and rinse this out and I'll be back. All right. So I did go ahead and wash that out so now I'm going to do all right so now I'm going to do the sour cream and that's two cups of sour cream hey baby hi bestie hi bestie Good morning, best friend. I know, lazy butt. Cheesecake. Look. Let me show you the cheesecake. Let's see Gabby's face. For you. 
You can eat this? Are you excited? We're, we're not going to eat it right now. <laughs> we're we're going to, right now when we go to Theo Daniel's house in a little while. Yeah? Yeah, he'll help in a while. Yeah, you can have some of that. Mmm. Mm -mm, yes, we're going to go to Daniel's house. Mm -hmm. In a little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're gonna want some cheesecake? <laughs> okay, we'll go get ready. So, oh, oh, no, no. Okay, go ahead, baby. <sighs> so Miss Gabby Miss Gabby is just waking up, but yeah. <laughs> um, so I have the mayonnaise, the sour cream. And I do have my spinach already. I should go ahead and add it now. Uh, that I, if it was frozen spinach and I just drained all the water out of it. All right, and then I'm going to add a package of the vegetable recipe mix. Go ahead and add that. Right. Where's my spoon? Let me give that a quick mix. Just makes it easier because of the the vegetable packet that I just put in there. So I'm also going to do three onions, three little green onions. So I'm going to get those chopped up. All right, now that that's chopped up, I'm going to go ahead and add that into the mixture. All right, and then I have a can of water chestnuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those chopped up as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in there as well. All right. I'll go ahead and get that mixed up. Let me let me rinse off my hands. I'll be back. All right. So I'm just going to mix everything together. Make sure everything is nice and mixed well. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this into my container. And I'm going to take it in and I'm going to stick it in the fridge. And then I serve it with sourdough bread. I just cut it into uh, bite-sized pieces so that you're able to use it almost like a chip. So. So I'm going to finish mixing this up, get this in the refrigerator, and I will be back. Alright guys, so I am going to try to attempt to make that Cardi B dip. So I'm only making half of it though. So I am going to add in a block of cream cheese. Get a small knife. And then I'm going to do, this is 11 ounces, um, it's a little more than half, so it's good enough, so I'm going to pour the whole thing in there, jalapenos, and then an avocado, that in there as well all right 
I don't know I'm gonna make that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Let me rinse off my hands. All right, so it also takes a cup and a half of sour cream. I'm just adding sour cream in there. And then it takes lime juice. So I'm putting in the juice of one lime. And then it also takes a, a bunch of cilantro. I'm just cutting off some of these stems. All right, I'm gonna shove that down in there. All right, and let me grab my black pepper. All right, so she adds black pepper. I'll call that good for now. And then she also adds chicken bouillon. So. All right, so I'm going to get this blended. And then once it's blended, I'll taste it and see if it needs, if it's missing anything, whether it's more bouillon, more black pepper, more lemon juice. So let me go ahead and get this mixed up. I'll be back. All right, so this is what the dip looks like. I gave it a quick taste test and it is delicious, highly recommend. Uh, it has a nice little kick to it. I like that I used these. I already knew that these were, they have a kick, so I'm glad that I used those. Uh, but I highly recommend you making this dip. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of this stuff cleaned up. I think that's the last thing that I'm going to do besides my drink. And I think I've decided on taking... Um, I decided on taking the white Christmas margarita. So I'm going to go ahead and make a picture of that to take with me. So I'm going to get all of this cleaned up, everything put away, get myself together, and then I'm going to go ahead and make the drink. All right, guys. So I did decide to go ahead and make the white Christmas drink. Look at Miss Gabby looking cute over there in her jammies and beanie. Say, hey, Miss Gabby. Let me see. <laughs> no, step back. Let me see your, let me see your outfit. Show off your outfit. More. Step back more. A little more. Oh, looking cute. <laughs> She's all excited. She's ready to go. So I'm going to do the white Christmas, but I'm going to do it in a, the white Christmas margarita, but I'm going to do it in a picture. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. <laughs> what is that? All right. So let me go ahead and get this opened up. I'm going to throw that in there. Lord Jesus. All right. So we need a cup and a half of tequila. All right. And we're going to need one cup of triple sec. cranberry juice but I didn't find the white cranberry juice what I did find was a white cran strawberry so I'm going to use one and a half cups of that right. and then I'm going to use half a cup of fresh lime juice so I squeezed all that out first before I started and then I'm going to need a half a cup of cream of coconut. Uh, 
right, so that's it for that one. Good thing I have it on standby. Finish measuring out that half a cup of cream of coconut. Alright, and let me get my piece. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there. It looks more pink than white because of the um, cran strawberry. That's okay. All right. And then I'm going to put it in my handy dandy to go container. <laughs> my transporting container. And that's it. That's, that's how you make it. All right, guys, so we are ready to go. Arch just tell me he's going to drive. Which one? I don't mind. There's a lot of stuff in the back. I don't want to. Okay. Also, you don't trust me? You don't trust my driving? Not at all. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so we did uh, pick up my grandson, Gabriel, so he is with us. So we got Gingy in the house. Hello, Gingy. You can't be nicer than that or what? Girl, it's Christmas. Don't be a jerk. It's Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> we got Gabby and then we got Gabriel. Hey, Gabriel. Merry Christmas. Aww. Merry Christmas Eve. Happy New Year's. Hopefully we'll we'll see you. They'll get to see you before then as well. But we're on our way, guys. We will see you guys there. Oh, really quick before I get there. So some of the vlogging may not have audio because I know that they're going to have music and uh, I don't know how much vlogging I can get done without being copyrighted. So when I can, I will move off to the side or go inside or wherever to get some privacy to be able to talk. But um, yeah, hopefully I'll be, I'll be able to vlog with, with audio but if not if there's no audio you guys will know that it's because of um, I don't want to get copyrighted so. guys so we are here and this is the smorgasbord of food that they have going on as a matter of fact I need to take a couple spoons for the dips down there we got some pasta salad right here, Caesar salad, macaroni and cheese. There's uh, some bolillo in here. Yeah, bolillo. And then uh, fry tip, I believe. And then chicken. And then sausage and chicken and jalapeno peppers. Some chili beans. Um, looks like some kind of queso. Um, looks like jalapeno popper dip. Birria. Charcuterie. Capri salad. Chips crackers. A brie. Another charcuterie board. Salsa. Dolce. I can't wait to try this. You drink these with uh, some brandy when it's nice and cold. <laughs> and I mean, this has to be hot, but when you're cold, you drink it to warm you up. Uh, all right, and then my spinach dip and party B dip. So, I'm about to get started. Feast and all this. Mm. All right, guys, so I did serve myself, and this is the damage, and this isn't even all of the food yet. So, I started off with the birria. Birria is del delicious. My mom made the birria, and it's, it's bomb. So, I'm going to stuff my face right now. Everything's looking delicious. All right, guys. So it is very intense right here right now. We are watching the game. We got Steelers fans.
Raiders and Raider fans in the building. So, um, yeah, these guys are hilarious. There's a lot of yelling and a lot of talking. <laughs> it's, uh, it's fun. Hopefully, hopefully the Raiders win. Raiders! Guys, so my daughter and her family are leaving. And, uh... <laughs> Uh, we're gonna give, uh, she's gonna give Gabriel, my grandson, his gift right now because we won't see him tomorrow. So she's gonna go ahead and give it to him right now and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and vlog that. Alright guys, so we are about to give Gabriel his gift but uh, I got my nephew over here who has his own YouTube channel. Uh, Sam Joaquin Jr. So if you can, go give him a like, go give him a subscribe and look him up. Hey guys, thank you. Sam Joaquin Jr. here. This is Life with Liz, right? Yes. <laughs> Go subscribe to Life with Liz. This is my Thea. I love her. Love you too, man. <laughs> you guys have a good night. Merry Christmas. Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and give uh, Gabriel his gift. So. Go ahead. Well, we're gonna be leaving, so that way I can give Gabriel his gift before we go. Yeah. We're gonna go something from us. Merry Christmas, Gabriel. Thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You're a good boy, man. Yes, you are, man. You're, you're, a, you're a good, a good guy. Woo! It's not for the strippers either, okay? That's why I didn't be so there was that was mijo that was from uh from stephanie and fabian yeah but with that being said because you guys are because hold on hold on because um right now that you guys are here that way you can help me vlog all right guys so uh stephanie and fabian are leaving so what's gonna happen to help uh art my vlog so um Gabriel won't be with us tomorrow, so we wanted to go ahead and give him his gift right now. Well, don't take your gift, you gotta open it. You gotta open it. I know I'm gonna like it. It's just receipts in there. Ah. <laughs> That was good. But he was so grateful. Yeah. Way. He's like, he's whatever. Always, he's always got jokes. Had a mess with <laughs> Man, it's a damn good game. Damn good game. All the shenanigans that are going on in here. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. Hey guys, so we are back home. It uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we we had to come back. I, I do have to edit. Um, so we're gonna let the girls open up a gift each. 
So we're going to start off with Miss Gabby. Let's see what she got. Let me see, Miss Gabby. Open it. Oh, no, oh, open it. Just rip it open. She's always trying to be so careful with the paper. Rip it. Rip it. What is it? A sweater. A sweater? <sighs> what kind? Open it up. Let's see. Is it a hoodie? <sighs> Who is it? Who is it? Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny? <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. You like Bad Bunny? Yeah. All right, let's see. Now let's see Gingy. Oh, 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 I, I am. Okay, let go sit next to her so you can help her. All right. Uh, 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 go throw in the trash. Oh, it's looking blurry. Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, uh, Gingy's was coming out blurry. I don't know if it still is, but no, I think we got it now. Bad bunny. Mm -hmm. Ready? Do you like it? Yeah, I do. That's a sweater. It's the same hoodie. It's a sweater. Mm -hmm. I want to try it on. Let's see. Come here, Gabby. Are you putting yours on? Hmm? I'm talking to Gabby. Come over here. Let's see. Oh, do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah. yeah. So she loves it. Aww. Well, oh, what is one of you? Mm-hmm. Do you like it, Gigi? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. We did good. We did good. Yeah. Gingy always looks so excited. <laughs> How about the Raiders, though? Oh man, that was such a disappointing game. I don't care man. that damn that that call they they said that was a complete pass. He had no control of the ball. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Look at somebody's checking herself out. That's right. Do you like it? She said, I love it, Mom. Mm. Cute. I did not open it yet. Cute. Look at, you hear how she, we walk in and see how she's congested? Some, she's allergic to something. It's making her allergies act up. It's the laundry room. Is it? I, that's what I'm thinking, too, that it's the laundry room. So, Gabby does have allergies. And we've been bringing the dogs in and putting them in the laundry room. And I, we notice that in the evening, Gabby gets, because she's closer to that area, Gabby starts to get congested and we end up having to give her uh, allergy medicine. I hear what, I hear what, I hear. And she was perfectly fine until right now that we got home. Now she's, now she's congested. So I, let me go get some medicine for her. All right, guys. So this does conclude today's video. Before I do completely close it out, I just want to wish each and every one of you a very Merry Christmas. I hope that you have uh, an amazing day with your family. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you for all of your support. Thank you so much. Um, I hope that Santa brings you uh, everything you asked for. <laughs> so with that being said, that concludes today's video. Make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.